Hey everyone, welcome to our Warhammer 40k Battle Report today, sponsored by Wayland Games, in fact. Josh and Luca here from MiniWarGaming.com, showcasing the new Adeptus Custodes, or I like, or in this case, Talons of the Emperor, uh, because, you know, Josh... It's the is Adeptus Custodes Codex, so I'm yeah. playing uh, not as many Custodes. Uh, you have eight. He has eight Custodes in the list, uh, yeah. but mostly he got a bunch of new Sisters of Silence, and he really wants to showcase them. I assume for the heresy mostly, but they do double purpose in this uh, game as well. Well, yeah, because I, I wanted to expand the custodies. Yeah. You know, force I really, appreciate but. the inclusion of the Sisters of Silence. I love this. I am I am very vocal about how much I hate custodies. I love Sisters of Silence, so this is perfect. Yeah, it's just yeah. a neat, different way to play, so I wanted to expand yeah. the way that I could play, and I, 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 I done did it. This is the good stuff here. We are only playing 1,000 points because it's more of a showcase of this new book and what they could do, and I'm playing the 1,000 Suns, to kind of give Josh the full range of effect of what he could do. This is also kind of the, the way that I could show and not have a ton of custodians here. Because <laughs> this is all the sisters I've got. I think I have like two more models. Oh uh, yeah, Josh has a lot more custodians too. So this is the, just a good chance to get them on the table. And like, why would they not be sent off to deal with the Thousand Sons and stop their occult rituals? We play and call it work. Mini War Gaming's Warhammer 40k Battle Report. Today we play the Thousand Sons, a very fitting matchup. Uh, leading the entire thing, I'll have an exalt, exalted, an exalted sorcerer on foot. Uh, we in this one thousand point list, we had enough points to give him the Athenian scrolls to give me a little bit more cabal points throughout this game. We're gonna have him leading a unit of ten rubric marines. Nine of them are gonna, well, eight of them are gonna have the rubric flamer, the infernal flamer. Uh, one's gonna have the fancy soul reaper, and of course we have our aspiring sorcerer in the unit. One more unit of Rubik Marines here. There's a five strong, basic bolters, and a Soul Reaper. One more character in this list is going to be a Thousand Sun Sorcerer in Terminator armor. I don't know why, I just keep, I kind of keep running this guy. So you're, you're used to my Thousand Suns list at this point. Of course, that character will be joining a Scarab Occult unit of a Thousand Sun Terminators here. Uh, they have all the relevant war gear. They got the Hellfire Rack, they got the Soul Reaper themselves, and the Aspiring Sorcerer. That will give them, you know, their bodyguard rule online. I never leave home without my Mutilith Vortex Beast. This guy very rarely does anything for me, but I have been in love with the model, the whole kit, and including the Slaughter Brute since they've come out. So, I, so it's always got a soft spot in my heart, no matter how good or bad this bad boy is. And I'm sure you guys appreciate seeing it here for the fun as well. The last addition to the list will be well, a little unit of 10 Zangors here to uh, hunt for relics and gain extra Cabal points. And just generally cheap unit, pretty useful overall. And uh, I haven't played with them in a bit, so here they are. Moving over to look at the Sisters of Silence for today. So the Warlord for the Force will be Alea, who is a named character I know nothing about. Um, I found her in a box that I had in my room upstairs. <laughs> I've also brought along another HQ choice, which will be a Knight Centura with the Executioner Great Blade. I have also brought along four units of Prosecutors, running as either uh, four strong or five strong, depending. And my other battle line choices, I've got a nice big squad of Custodian Guard. You know, go grab an objective or something like that. My other data sheets, I've got a squad of Vigilators. So that's the sisters with the Executioner Great Blades. And I've also got a squad of Witch Seekers, and they're the ones with the Flamers. Rounding off the list is I've got some Venatari, which are my jump pack guys. They're gonna kind of uh, jump in and, I don't know, maybe counterattack Luke a bit. Jumping into the mission here, we have an old Imperial, we'll say ruined research facility around these ancient ruins that the Thousand Suns have vested interest in. And for the mission, it's Vital Ground. It's a simple enough one. Uh, we do have four objectives though with Vital Ground. The objective in the middle where those woods are is removed for this mission. And we're only playing the four surrounding objectives in a Crucible of Battle style deployment, which has us deploying along the short table edge in a Vanguard style deployment as we are opposite one another at a fancy angle. With Vital Ground, starting the second battle round, you're going to score victory points for controlling the important objectives on the battlefield. You'll get two if you have the one in your own deployment zone, and then you'll gain five victory points per objective in No Man's Land, and if you're somehow able to wrestle control of the objective in your opponent's deployment zone, it'll be worth six victory points as well on top of all that. Gaining a monumental amount of primary victory points if you're able to achieve all of that. But that still caps at 50 victory points throughout the game. Uh, in the fifth battle round, it just 
Scoring is standard, but the player who goes second gets a little bit more control over it. Now, our little twist to the mission is Secret Intel will allow both of the players to draw an additional secondary mission card and then choose two out of the three, effectively, giving us more objectives to play around with, which is important in the thousand point game when we have less units to work with. Going over some of the deployment we have here, in reserve for the Thousand Suns, I have the Scarab Call Terminators and the a Sorcerer with them in Terminator armor. I got my Warlord with the Rubric Marines over here. That's my Exalted Sorcerer on foot with Rubric Marines with Flamers. My Zangors are in the back corner. Uh, in case they need to investigate signals, they can go back there and do that. And then on this flank near this one objective, we have our Mutalith, Vortex Beast, and one tiny baby weak squad of Rubric Marines. And that's all I got. Yeah, looking at my deployment, I do have the Knight Centura leading the Flamer unit, because I'm never going to remember the name. Uh, Witch Seekers, I believe. Okay. They did take a scout move to get themselves up the board a little bit. Alea is here leading the other, well, the melee-centric squad. I've got one, two, three, four of my Bolter squads. And then my Custodian's kind of sitting almost uh, mid-board, ready to support. And of course, my Jump Packs are going to be jumping in later on. Right, and it should point out that we are we're always, we're always cut off the edge of the battlefield, but it's good to say that this foot here beyond the sisters is uh, the DMZ. No combat allowed over there. Only friendly stuff over there. Only hugs and kisses. We fight here. Now, before we get into the game, this new format of Battle Report, this new style of Battle Report, you know, is sponsored by Wayland Games. They sponsor a lot of our content here, and they provide worldwide shipping for a majority of their products. Very competitive pricing, and quite a bit of stock to go along with that. They are a major distributor when it comes to all things of this hobby, this nature, the trading card games, board games, miniature war games. All your nerd game stuff. All, much, all yeah. the fun stuff, all yeah. the good stuff. So, you know, Wayland Games supports us, so if you're considering, you know, purchasing any of that kind of product, consider supporting Wayland Games as well. Maybe doing some pre-orders for stuff? Maybe, just maybe some. All right, well, it's time for that roll-off. Stu goes first. All right, high dice roll, must go. High dice roll, must go first. Oh. You got, what'd you get? A three. Four. I'll take that nerd. Turn 1,000 suns. Looking at my cards on my first turn here, we are going to draw, deploy Teleport Homer, cleanse, and we're going to choose to draw a third card as per secret intel, and that's going to be no prisoners. Deploy Teleport Homer is not going to be possible this turn, so I'm going to scrap that because you always have to discard the one if you draw an extra one. So we're going to be working on cleanse, which is possible with my Mutalith Vortex Beast. And no prisoners, if I get a kill anywhere, I'll count it lucky. So maybe we'll get some points for that as well. In the command phase, after drawing those cards there, cleansing, we're going to try and aim for this objective over here near the more Mutalith Vortex Beast. It's simply just going to move towards it. Cleanse. Shooting with it would be nice, but the victory points are even nicer. Because how else would you win? <laughs> uh, otherwise... Not much to do in the command phase. I'm going to generate Cabal points, and that's not too many Cabal points for now. I get one for the Rubric Marine Squad, so that's two. Uh, the Exalted Sorcerer in the Rubric Marine Squad gives three because he's got the Athenaean Scrolls. So, um, what is that, five? I get five Cabal points, which is enough for a Temporal Surge. Uh, actually, that means these guys could probably Temporal Surge too and go on the objective, which is nice. It gives me flexibility. Uh, I won't be able to Doom Bolt right away. Uh, the other thing is these... Uh, what are they called? Zangors. They are near the objective, and they have a rule called Relic Hunters. Uh, I roll a d6 on a 4-up. Might as well do it now. Uh, they are going to generate one additional Cabal point. However, I don't think it'll matter. I don't have it. Don't have to worry about it. Done. I have five Cabal points to play with, and Josh and I have one command point. We're going to go to movement phase now and uh, figure that out. I should note, I do have to pick a Kindred Sorcery as per the Detachment rule as well. It's like I enhance my Psychic Attacks with either Sustained Hits, Lethal Hits, or Devastating Wounds. Ooh. Uh, I'm going to go, I think it's called Ma Psychic Maelstrom is the Sustained Hits one. I'm going to go that one as the standard one. If I for if I go to Resolve Psychic Attacks and I didn't pick one earlier in the command We're phase... We're you doing that unless you say otherwise. Correct. That's the one I'm going to be going for. Uh, and that won't be overly relevant in the first turn because I'm just going to be moving around, not really getting in range of too many things. But starting off with the movement phase... These little Rubric Marines only move five. We're going to try to use them to put some shots at the Sisters of Silence over here. What's their, what are they called? Are these Sisters of Silence? That is probably a pro, uh, prosecutor. Okay, so they have a... Okay, they got unit names. They got fancy unit names. Uh, 24. Yeah, I'd like to put some hate at them with bolt guns, I suppose. This Vortex Beast... Uh, we're actually going to have to move over a little bit more. This Vortex Beast moves 10. He's just going to go up towards the objective. And uh, he has a shooting attack, but... As we all know about the Vortex Beast, 
He could be a little unreliable. What's the move on these guys? My custodians are six. Uh, you know what? We're just going to go. We're gonna no, stay. no. Go back to where you were. Well, I, I'm not moving much. I got to stay within three of it. That's about as far back as I can go. That's fair. And he's going to cleanse it with his little tentacle mouth. However you want to work that out. That's what he's going to do. Gross. Uh, our Zangors are going to stay exactly where they are. They're in a position. They're near the objective to score it if I need them to. And they can move back towards the uh, corner for investigate signals if it dares to uh, show its ugly head. These Rubik Marines here are going to... This is a, we have a weird kind of standoff here with my Flamer Squad, and you're better than mine Flamer Squad. Yeah, I, we're, I don't want to just walk forward and Temporal Surge and nuke his one Flamer Squad, so I'm going to let him play around with them. You can, yeah, I was going to say, if you want to... You, no, it, we'll... it also exposes... Well, it exposes me to the rest of his forces, too. I was going to say, then the rest of the army jumps you. Yeah. And you lose the one big unit that you have. Well, hopefully I wouldn't, but I'm not going to risk it. We're just going to have them go towards the ruins over here and tango over there instead. Uh, okay. So we don't have to worry about anything too fancy. We're just going to run away from stuff. So yeah, they're going to probably not advance because I can at least shoot some of their weapons. So we're just going to move them five. A little five-inch move up this way. Not going to get too much use out of the flamers for now, but they're going to be, you know, a threat for later. Overwatch with them can be nasty. I really need them to not do that. Right to the shooting phase at the start of it, we are going to use Temporal Surge for our, all, all five of our Cabal points out the window. Uh, they get to make a normal move again. Ooh. And uh, they're outside of 18 inches for now, but they're going to move within 18 inches. Uh, we are going to get our Exalted Sorcerer within 18 of those ladies there. And that Soul Reaper is going to... Yeah, it's already in range, but we're going to mostly move towards the ruins here. Again, only moving five. They're not the fastest unit in the world, but we're getting the Aspiring Sorcerer, the Exalted Sorcerer in range to... Hit that front unit of ladies from 18 inches away as opposed to getting nice and close at 12. Uh, the other thing to do in the shooting phase, the Vortex Beast is going to go ahead and cleanse this objective uh, for three victory points this turn. And we're going to go ahead and resolve this Rubric Marine unit shooting into this Sister of Silent unit right over there. We're going to see if we can get lucky and get a kill on them. We're going to start with the Soul Reaper. It is six shots on threes. Burp. Got four hits and uh, toughness three on them, I assume. You better believe it. Uh, that is two when he hits a minus one. Ooh. Go to a four-up save on the sisters. Boom. Oh, oh nice. look at that. And we got six bolter shots. Uh, these are also threes. Threes and threes at this point. Uh, looking for sixes to wound or extra AP. Uh, oh, you know what? I owe you. So three saves at minus one. I rolled two ones to wound on the Soul Reaper. They get to reroll one rolls of one. So it's five saves at minus one now. Five saves at minus one? Yep. Okay. That's I, can, I can live with that. Doing it properly. <laughs> uh, these are four-ups. I killed two. You've killed half of my unit. And that is it for their shooting. The only other unit to fire with will be this Rubik Green unit over here who Temporal Surged. Uh, we're going to start with the Exalted Sorcerer. He's got a, an attack called Astral Blast. Now, this is Psychic. You will get... I, if you have a Feel No Pain... I have a Feel No Pain of three up against Psychic Attacks. Oh, a three up. That's spicy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and see what we could do with our Astral Blast. This is Blast, and I assume there's ten models there. There are eleven. Okay, so we're going to get D6 plus two attacks here. Whew. It's going to be six. And these are hitting on twos with the Lord here. Nothing fancy on the sixes. Uh, are we looking at, I said sustained hits, right? Yeah, so we got two more hits in there because of the sixes. This is a psychic attack. They are strength six, twos to wound. We're rolling ones because he's part of the Rubik Marines. Nice. And all right, we got seven wounds at minus two. But you're going to have cover because of the woods in the way. And uh, these do not ignore cover, so effectively four up saves. Okay, so looking for four ups to get started then. And we've made slightly more than half of them. How much damage? Are uh, how many did you make? Three? Uh, I failed three so far. They're all D3 damage. Ah. So you got to make a single feel no pain, a single feel no pain, and then... Oh, oh they're okay, all single so feel no pain. Feel no pain. Yeah, so this e is nice and easy. Easy enough. So we have the three up feel no pain against psychic attacks. Nice. Okay, so we have dodged that, and I must use my first strap. Yes. Uh, but first, I forgot my warp smite from the Aspiring Sorcerer. has got two shots. Crack, crack. Uh, one miss. And uh, it's, I think it's... That's a wound. It's devastating, technically, so it goes right to your feel no pain. Ooh, okay. Four. How much damage? Infantry four up in devastating wounds. Just one. Oh, just one? Yeah. Okay. So looking for a three up. Kaboom. Oh, I oh got one. you got one. Ah. No! There we go. Got a little bit of damage in there. I do lose one sister, but actually, you know what? No, we're going to pull... Uh, yeah, well, that was the right call. I'm going to use one of the new stratagems, and that's Desperation's Price. To overcome the Null Maiden Zora, enemy psychers overstretch themselves with horrible consequences. Oh, boy. 
Horrible. Horrible. So this is any phase just after an enemy psyker unit is either finished using a psychic ability that targets a unit or finished making psychic attacks. All right. And then I target one of my units uh, with an 18 of the, the enemy psyker unit. This will be the one you shot at, but it doesn't have to be in the future. And the effect, the enemy psyker unit must pass a leadership test. If the test is passed, psyker unit's battle shocked. And if it's failed, your battle shook and you take three more wounds. Aye. Pass, but I'm still battle shocked. I'm battle shocked, but I don't take damage. So the automatic battle shock, which is huge, that's a really nice effect. Now, granted, it's only against like psychic attacks, and so it's a little fringe there. But it's I went all weirdly thousands. specific. Yeah. yeah, I went all thousand suns to show off a lot of their mechanics here, uh, which is a big deal. It means I can't Overwatch. I could have not shot, but got to show off strats, I suppose. It's nice to show stuff off. Nice to show you stuff You still, off. I mean, there was a lot of there. There was damage potential there, even though I had a good yeah. feeling of pain. I rolled yeah. above average. That's true. That's true. Uh, we are going to go ahead and end our turn there. I have nothing much to do. There's no charging, no fighting. Uh, we finished cleansing this objective over here with the Mutalith Vortex Beast. Overall, uh, it would have been nice to kill these two over here, but I didn't expect to. Uh, two, sorry, three victory points for the cleanse. And do I want to get rid of no prisoners for a command point? I think the answer there is yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to kill too many stuff, and I want to see new cards. So I'm going to get rid of no prisoners. I'm going to get an extra command point, and that'll bring me to three going on to Josh's turn. My pulls will be Secure No Man's Land. I really only have two options for this, and I don't love it. I've also ended up with no prisoners. Uh, you don't have that many units for me to kill. I will draw an extra one, and that will be Area Denial, which should be automatic for me, and if I commit to the middle, I get extra points, so... Seems like a bit of a no-brainer. I'm going to go ahead and pitch no prisoners because I don't think I'm going to fully kill anything this turn. And my command phase is relatively boring. Uh, we each get a command point. Yep. I'm at a three. Josh that one. Yeah. My army roll comes up in your command phase. So this is going to be yes. like heavily front-loaded that your command phase is when both of our right. armies are doing things. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, so we're going to get ready to go right over to my move. And if we look at the top, Dan, I'll give you kind of, we'll, we'll do a bit of a before and after here. Long story short, both units of sisters are going to have to commit up the table. The custodians here, I have no idea where they're going to go. We'll figure that out <laughs> later. And then I've got a couple little bolter squads to uh, shuffle around as well. So let's show you what that all looks like. And now through the power of movie magic, we are back. Yes. And things are moved. Yeah. So uh, once we show the top down again real quick, I did go ahead and advance a number of different units. So the unit here of all the swords, which I want to say are vigilators, but I might be incorrect. They advanced up with a very healthy roll of six, and so did my custodians uh, in the middle there. And they got holy within the middle of the battlefield is right here between these two trees, so the whole unit is holy within six of the middle to get the full points on area denial. And then I also did a regular move with the witch seekers because they're seeking witches. Yep. Uh, and because you are battle shook, you cannot Overwatch me. Can't do nothing. No Overwatch. Nothing fun. That was a relatively uh, quick move because I get the extra bonus move and then uh, advance and charge. It's plus two on all of those. Yeah. With the Knight Centura leading the unit. And then other than that, yeah, moved up a couple of bolter squads, shuffled some stuff around to grab objectives, and... These two over here uh, going, going back to the deployment zone, going back home. Yeah, they, they advanced. They, they didn't want none of that. So I believe we're ready to get right over to shooting. Shooting, we're going to start off. We're going to keep this very simple basic. We're going to have the <laughs> squad here. Go ahead and fire bolters. At your nasty, nasty rubric marines. There. Bunch of traitors there. And with the four that are in range with their bolters, let's see if I can't hit you. I am looking for threes here. Boop. I hit with all four of them. Oh, wonderful. You know, I purchased these uh, custodian dice, and uh, they're coming up clutch. Uh, now, I also have... I'm just strength four. Your toughness? Four. So yep. I'm looking for fours, but I do have devastating wounds because you're a psyker unit. Damn, nasty psychers. And precision. Oh, okay, fair. Yeah. Is it on sixes or fives? Or just regular? Uh, it's just regular Devastating Wounds, so it's on sixes. How many wounds does your character have? Uh, they're like uh, two... Oh, no, he, he's five wounds. There's only one character in there, the Exalted Sorcerer. I thought I had two characters in this one. He's five you, you've got the, you know what? Um, I'm not going to bother precisioning. My guys come back to life. So if you're only killing one guy, oh. you're going to come back to life anyway. So. Okay, well, well... On a two up. Let's uh, uh, go ahead. We'll put those onto the... Uh, Sorcerer, then. Uh, yeah. You're big bad. He's got nothing against. He just takes a couple damage. So three wounds left on him of his five from those precision shots. 
Now I will go ahead and spend a singular command point on Psy Chaff Volley. So I'm firing Psy Chaff bolts at you. Uh, so I do this after I shoot. So I select an enemy unit that's hit by one or more of the attacks until the start of my next turn, you are prosecuted. Oh. Which means when any of my uh, Anathema Psychana, my sister's of silence models, make an attack against you, I get one better AP. Okay. And while a Psyker or Battleshock unit is prosecuted, each time a model unit makes an attack, you subtract one from the hit roll. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which okay, is not going to be too meaningful because you got flamers, correct. but if I can get yeah, into yeah. an engagement and... Yeah, maybe it's a thing. That's your one command point? That's my one command point. I'm going to use as many of the strats as I can. Yeah, well, I mean, the, they're not bad. I mean, the, again, styles of defense are quite good. Yeah. Very good. Now that you've been prosecuted, I'm going to go ahead and have the other sister squad fire at you. Five bolt gun shots. Same as before. These are looking for threes to hit. Uh, these were less accurate. Okay. Didn't go to sisters of silent school. Uh, so I've got the three there. I'm looking for fours to wound you again. And there is one fail. There is one at AP one, and I'm gonna put another mortal, or sorry, put another dev wound onto your character. Do you just wanna put the AP one on my character as well? <sighs> Maybe I just should, yeah, no, that's a good yeah. call. I forgot about that. Yeah, it's just precision him. all the yeah, time, yeah, yeah. so yeah, let's do it. Try so he takes character. one at AP one. He saves it, and then he takes the damage from the dev wound. He's slowly dying. Next little bit of shooting will be my custodian guard putting shots over into the filthy, filthy rubrics. Oh, no. Uh, so I'm going to be hitting you on twos. Oh, yeah, they don't have precision. Can't get my character yet. Can't, not yet. Next turn, probably. I hit with them all. <laughs> and then these are going to wound you on fours, re-rolling ones. Re-rolling ones. I've only got one wounding hit. Four up save. With AP, AP one. Yeah. Oh, we're good. You're fine. No one dies. All right, would have been nice. Those were two damage. Um, yeah. But okay. I think the last little bit of shooting I have to do here is going to be my witch seekers <laughs> are going to seek the witches. And go ahead and fire their flamers at you. Should be nasty. Hopefully. All right, I have eight in range. Uh, so there's only one that's not in range there. Uh, let's see what I can do with flamer shots. I get this many. These are just going to be uh, good old strength four. So the first volley of them, looking for force to wound you. Make that many saves. Ooh. Yeah, precision or devastating wounds or anything? Or is that just Nothing, that's a different squad? No, different squad. Um, eight so far. These are AP1 because of the, the strat? Correct. Do you want to do the other half? Sure. The other half. Looking for fours. Now there's substantially less. Uh, I've got a grand total of four more in there. Huh. AP1 on these attacks because of the stratagems. We're going to lose one, two, three, four of our river greens. Huzzah. We're going to lose, I don't know, these four. They look like they are in the path of the flames. Why not? That makes sense. Oh, yeah. Now, their special thing is that you would be taking a battle shock test right now. Ah, but you're we, already, we're already battle your battle shock. shook it. Look at that. So that means that's the end of my shooting. I'm going to go ahead and declare the charge. Can't do nothing Because I got a it. bonus to my charge. I'm looking for a seven to make this. The battle shock. So let's see. Oh, I fail on a four. Oh, and with no CPs to do anything about it, I think that's that. That's how she goes. All right. Are you, are you disappointed, Luca? It could have crushed. That would have been nice. That would have been. <laughs> it would have been, been nice and clean. Been, okay. It they're been not, nice and they're clean. not good in combat. The uh, character's okay. Uh, the I mean, squads, the, I'm, I would have gotten like maybe one or two more rubrics. I suppose, yeah. There's not much, the rubrics don't have much going on either. No, there's like fair. two strength four attacks each. That's, I, well, yeah. It, I think they got two. They probably got two. Let's see what they can do as we get ready uh, for, I guess, my scoring. Five got, points for area now. Looking at my scoring, I do have the secure no man's land. Look at me go. I'm so good at Warhammer. And then... Um, I don't think you, had, you did not I'm get sorry, secure. Yeah, was denial the, was the card you got. Yep. Yes, that's the, that's the back and forth. So I think I still get a secure no man's land over here. Is it three points for the one? If I get just the one, it is two. Or two, of five. sorry. Two instead of five. So two VPs you. for that. I said yep. them backwards, but uh, we know what I got. Seven points, not bad. Better than my three on the first turn. Solved. At the at the end of turn one, Josh has seven. I'm at three for victory points. I'm winning. Ooh. This might be the, the hopefully not the last time I can say that. This, this I, match. I suspect it won't be. <laughs> <laughs> Drawing my cards uh, for the turn. Area denial is the first one. That's not a great start. Uh, investigate signals will be our second card. We're 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 positioned to do it this turn for, for at least some points. And then the last one's extend battle lines because I wanted to draw a third card. So we're going to get rid of area denial here. We're not going to work on that one. Investigated signals and extending battle lines are very doable. 
uh, objectives all around, so. And we don't have to try too hard to focus on them either. Uh, going on my command phase, start of the command phase, nothing to do really. Uh, throw the command phase, a couple things. Josh and I give a command point. I'll be at four. Josh will be at one. Impressive. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the Risen Rubrique ability on the Sorcerer there, the Exalted Sorcerer. It's before the Battleshock step, so I roll a die. On a two-up, I get one of my Bodyguard models back. On a one, my unit takes damage. And on a six, six you get two. two dudes back. I got a four, so we get a guy back. Boom. We're just going to go ahead and bloop, have him join up in the fun there again. And uh, I guess we'll go right to Battleshocking. I... Okay, so now normally you wouldn't have to worry about it. Yeah. But because of the unit being close by there, uh, this is where my detachment rule is going to kick in Ooh. for the Null Maiden Vigil. So this is the Creeping Dread Aura. So in the Battleshock step of your opponent's command phase, if an enemy unit that's either a Psyker unit or below its starting strength is within 12 of any of my Sisters of Science models, uh, the enemy must take a Battleshock test. If the unit's below half strength, it must subtract one from its Battleshock test this phase instead. So that's kind of neat. I'm not gonna. I, I'm not gonna risk another battle. Oh, you're gonna, are you gonna spend a command point? Yes. Look at you go. One of your. I guess you had like four. I had four, and oh geez, okay. I don't want to. Like, I will. Play, it's, if I don't, I don't play with my guys either. It's kind of like just no, absolutely. Throwing, That's yeah. probably the right one. So yeah, yeah I'll, I'll take the fact that I can attack you for command point. Exactly. Yeah. So that'll be the inspire there. That way, I can like throw grenades, do my attacks proper. Overwatch and stuff like that. And that is a limited resource, at least. It's true. What you're capable of doing. So yes. getting that early uh, for the way my army functions is not awful. Not too bad at all. Uh, otherwise, uh, don't have to do any other battle shocks. Scoring, I get two points for my home objective. I'm going to get uh, five points for one of the No Man's Land objectives, but I don't have both, clearly. It's dangerous over there. So that's seven points on primary. And then I get Cabal points, and I'm getting five again. So three for the character, four, five for the two Rubric Marine units. And these guys might give me a sixth one, but I don't, I don't really... It's the, uh, the Birdmen? Yeah, the Relic Hunters. I don't need it. They're just in the list because they're going to stand around on objectives and protect it a little bit. And they're going to give me a couple points for investigate signals. Though I got to watch out for a... Well, I guess you only have one command point. So if you use the Arrive from Reserve thing... Get it for free with that unit. Okay, well then I will have to keep that in mind. Yes. <laughs> a couple easy steps for the Moon Phase over here with the Vortex Beast and the Rubik Marines. They're going to move up their five. And they're just going to take some shots over at these rem <laughs> these remaining two sisters. No. And uh, acquire me some victory points over here. Why not? And then i got to figure out what I want to do with this Vortex piece, though. After some humming and hawing, we're going to have some fun with this big guy. We're going to move him, his 10 inches, up and around this ruin here to go for the Custodian Guard. Uh, see if he gets lucky. He just rolls well. You never, you never know. So he'll go five to clear it over this way. And then you have five extra inches of movement up to effectively right there. Not too far. But uh, his base is technically sideways, but I always like to face the enemy. It just looks cooler. You're fine like that. It's still I a mean, nasty charge, though. To be fair, I don't think I've ever managed to kill a Mutalith Vortex Beast with my Custodians before, so this might be a good matchup for you. Have you ever fought a Mutalith? No. That's the, yeah, that's the, uh, no. the follow-up there. <laughs> uh, the other move will be the Zangors are going to just tuck in within nine of the table corner here to investigate signals for this turn. Yeah, they'll go back there. They'll investigate signals. I can just have the Terminator show up in this crack here just to take some shots anyways. Uh, the last thing to move will be my Exalted Sorcerer's unit with the Rubik Marines, and as I do the move, I assume you're going to Overwatch. So. Yeah, because at this point, I think it's better to do the Overwatch than force you to do a Battle Shock again. Yeah. Or, yeah, force the Battle Shock. Or you could just not fire the Psychic stuff at yep, me. Yep, that's, that's what I was You're still prosecuted. Yes, I'm still prosecuted, so the AP is still relevant on them. And getting ready to take some shots, let's see, and Whoosh. that happens. Not bad. Guns coming through. And here we go. Here comes the first volley. Uh, looking for fours to wound you. Yeah. Uh, I see less than I thought out of that many dice. You have uh, five, six to make so far. Six ain't bad. And then the second volley, you must make another that many. Is that also six? Uh, strangely enough, it uh, definitely yeah is. So 12 saves still with a... Uh, all if you want. All four up saves as they stand out in the open with their power armor. Uh, none of them are wounded, so it's going to be one dead, two dead, three dead, and oh, whatever. I will say that one's dead too. Four dead. Let us lose four of these husks. I don't know. We got four guys left. We're going to send them towards the vigilators. You want them towards the sword ladies? Yeah, yeah. One, one final heroic charge with this uh, Rurik Marine squad. Okay, I will point out once again. 
Uh, I do have the fights first on that squad. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try. I'm just okay. getting, I'm just getting I, I, I didn't think there. you were going to, but I'm like, oh no. Yeah, we're just I gonna would be... try our best to make anything happen here. Uh, at the end of the movement phase, my Scarab Call Terminator is gonna show up from reserve uh, near my objective. That way, I still have like some control over my home objective on the upcoming turn. Uh, turn because these guys investigated signals. Uh, and they, they, got, they got a lot of targets uh, in the middle there as well. Uh, and then Josh. And then the flip side, my jump squad is going to jump right down there. Using rapid ingress. They can use it for free. That's their ability. Yeah. That's, yeah. Whole, that's their shtick. So, yeah. I'm happy enough with that. Yeah, they're going to they're gonna beat up these guys. <laughs> that's the idea. It's going to be... Uh, I don't know what the outcome there is going to be. I couldn't predict it. If I had to if I had to put money on it, I don't know. It's a toss-up. I don't know who's going to win that one. It's going to be a tough... I don't normally hear you this sarcastic. I wasn't used to it. Yeah. I wasn't prepared. We'll see how it goes for those poor lads there. Uh, otherwise, I can go to shooting. I'm not going to use my Cabal points yet because I don't need to. I don't need to move anything. So, yeah, we're going to start with these Rubric Marines over here. Firing into those systems. No! Just because they don't have any other real targets. So, we'll That's see if I can just finish them off there. I'll do uh, six bolt gun shots, and then we're going to do six Soul Reaper cannon shots. You can shots. start with the Soul Reaper if you want. That might kill them both. That's what I'll do. Yeah, I'm going to do that one first. Uh, it hits on those. It wounds on those five at minus one. Five at minus one, eh? Looking for fours. Get them. Yeah, uh, they did. Hey, look at that. Uh, before going on too much further shooting after killing those two, we have a, an ability on our exalt, our sorcerer and terminator armor. It's called uh, Marked by Fate. Something like that. I pick an enemy unit within 18 inches, and then my army gets to reroll hit rolls of one when they're being targeted. I'm just going to pick this unit with the flamers. Mm -hmm. That makes a, a lot of sense. Just a, I think that's until end of phase, most likely, but I'll double check that later when the shooting phase is done. Uh, otherwise, I am going to proceed with some of my shooting. I'm going to go to this Rubric Marine unit there with the exalted sorcerer in it. Out of everything on my list, the Exalted Sorcerer has the Grenades keyword. The Rubik Marines don't do it, but he does. How so dare you? I'm going to throw grenades at the Ladies of Swords for a command point. Now, real quick, a unique feature. And again, you can take this back if you wanted to. I think we've already discussed it. Yeah. But I want to make sure the people at home know, too. Uh, models in this unit have the Feel No Pain 3-up ability against psychic attacks and mortal wounds. It's their, uh, their null, their null aura protects against the exploding vehicles and grenades. They are Daughters of the Abyss. Of course, naturally. I mean, it makes sense. Why be logical when you can just... Yeah, well, they're, they're like, <laughs> no, thank you. The grenades can't see them. Bam! Uh, you have four Feel No Pain rolls to make. Oh, no. Uh, okay, looking for a 3-up. One. You killed one! No! Got one. That's right. Her null aura was not strong enough against the fragmentation. Uh, that is. How dare you? Uh, you know what? Who are we gonna pull? And sorry, that was you were targeting. The uh, the sisters of swords. Ah, uh, gonna try to apply a little bit more damage to that unit with the actual shooting of that rubric marine unit. Everything into those uh, vindicators. Uh, probably. Vigilators. I think it's vigilators. The ladies with swords. But they're not. The they're not prosecutors. And they're not witch seekers, so they're vigilators. They vigilate. Understood. Uh, we'll start with the. What do we got? I got one flamer in there. I got a soul reaper, and then a couple of psychic attacks from the two characters. So I'll do the flamer first, I suppose. Oh yeah! It's gonna be four automatic hits at strength four. So threes to wound, and we do reroll. Are they on the objective? Yeah, they are. Yeah, you got the objective. Reroll the wound rolls. Uh, four at minus one. Ignore cover. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, so these are looking for fours. Kaboom. You get two of them. Aha! Eat that. And then we're going to do the Soul Reapers into them, hitting on... Uh, I think these are actually hitting on fours because of the negative one to hit, but I only rolled fives to hit. The, uh, I'll, I'll look it up as you go ahead and roll anyways. Two's to wound. Uh, one devastating wound and one uh, save because you have cover. One regular save because of cover. I'm going to lose one more and then the three up save? Yes. Yeah. I'm fine. Cover, dual cover, don't matter. You're good. Now we're going to do the Astral Blast. It's D6 shots. Blast. So it's going to be D6 plus one. Do I care? Kind of. One more. I mean, I'm not going to use it for much else. Can you use the CP? Yeah, more attacks. Actually, <laughs> that's funny. I got even less. Uh, we got two. Uh, one hit. And a wound. Okay. That's devastating, technically. So it just does. You have two feel no pains. Because it's still psychic. Okay. So three ups. Oh, I destroy one model. It's D3 damage, so it's only one model can die. Oh, yeah. Well, the way devastating wounds work. Exactly. And then we have two attacks from Warp Smite. Just like, pew, pew, pew. Two little brain bullets. Should be forced to hit because of the negative one to hit. And that's another devastating wound that you have a 3 of pain against. 
Nice. We're fine. Right, there we go. That's it. I don't think I have to. I think we're good. That's it. Yeah. Uh, Terminator's gonna go next. So it's gonna put shots into the sisters in the middle there. Yeah, the prosecutors. The witch seekers. The witch seekers. Yes, the witch seekers are gonna be the one we're gonna. Shoot you wanna burn the witches? That's why they got flamers. Of course. Ah, that's fair. Yeah. Gotcha. See, I'm, I'm certain to. I'm certain to. That makes sense. Get stuff to remember this. That makes sense. Let's do all the bolters first. So it's gonna be two in rapid fire range, and then three additional ones that aren't. So it's gonna be uh, four, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen shots. Math. These are hitting on threes, re-rolling ones because they were targeted by the sorcerer. All right, helped with one of the hits there. Three's to wound. No rerolls here. That's uh, their more defensive unit. Seven at minus one. Uh, we've got three that are looking at cover. It was AP what, sorry? Just one, so regular saves. So three ups. We're fine. Ooh, cover hasn't mattered yet. Now we're playing heresy. Okay, so we lost one so far. And two. two. Got two down. Here's the soul reaper. No, uh, my soul. We get a hit on the reroll there. These are twos to wound as well. And four saves at minus one. Uh, one at a time, I still got one left in cover. Die. Oh, got yep. her. Yep, the rest got of it. fours. Uh, so I lose two to that. One, two. And we got the Hellfire Rack to go, and then the the two Psychic Attacks from the Sorcerers. Though I think Warp Smite's a pistol, so I already shot his Bolter. But that's okay, Warp Smite's not going to be... The Bolter's better than Warp Smite, let me tell you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we'll do the Hellfire Missile Rack, and then we'll do the weird anti-vehicle, anti-monster psychic attack that guy's got. <laughs> Two missiles going their way. Uh, one reroll for the one. They're both going to hit. Two is to wound. That's rank 10. Uh, no reroll there. Just do your minus two. Minus two is looking for a five up. Uh, nope. That's just one more dead lady. Any other shots? Yeah, I got to do the character. Coruscating Flames. Three attacks. Ooh. Ooh. Two rerolls. For his own ability. And these are strength four, so three's to wound. Uh, minus three, though. Minus three, so I'm gonna, I start with a six up. And then it's. This it's, is psychic? It's two damage, so one okay. model has to make two funeral pains. Oh, that pain is not good. felt. The last thing to fire is the weird monster we have here. He has three shooting profiles from the weird chaos portal on his back. He's got a beam, like a single target big damage attack. He's got like a little flamer attack that's gonna clear no chap, or the ladies are there nearby. And he's got a kind of a leap killer, like marine killing attack. So it's not bad against the custodians. We're going to do that one. It's the uh, Vortex Blast, I believe. It's D6 plus three shots. Blast. So you got five models? I got yeah. five, yeah. D6, I did check that. D6 plus, yeah, D6 plus four. Ooh. Hey, not bad. Eight shots. Three stay with this deck. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, no rerolls. We got four misses. And these are three two and a strength nine. And one. Okay. Uh, minus two, but you're in cover. So really only a three up. Okay. I failed it. Two damage. A little bit of damage on them. If I didn't mention the investigating signals on the Zangors, they're going to do that. And we can go right to charging. And I'm going to charge my Exalted Sorcerer and his Rubric Marines into your Witch Seeker squad. The what seeker? Witch Seekers? Yeah. What? So Those yeah, ones. I, and somebody yeah. laughed. And they're upset that they laughed. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about it. Come yeah, on there. No overwatch. I don't think I really need to roll, but the roll will dictate how far I go. Six. Easy enough. Uh, they make it in with a six, no problem. The only kind of suspicious charge would be the Vortex Beast into the Custodies. Ugh. I uh, don't know what it is. If I had a ballpark it, I'd say ten or nine. Probably, I'm leaving you, buddy. Probably closer to ten. Hey! Ah, let me tell you. We can measure it. Do it. We can measure it. I'm going to do a hypothetical reroll. See if I sh... No, okay, good. Save the command point. Bless. I always, I always think about it, but I'm like, the odds aren't great. I haven't even measured it. Now I want to know. How close was it? It was... Everybody wanted to know. Over a nine... Yeah, it's probably this at nine. Yeah, you would. Yeah, it's about nine and three quarters away. So ten, not super likely, but we don't hate it. Uh, we're gonna go right to fighting the exalted sorcerer and his three bodyguard and try to beat up some ladies. Unless you got something weird to do. I don't even have command points, bro. That's true. I'm gonna do the rubric marines first. Not gonna bother piling them in. I, they're already where I need them to be. There's two rubric marines with close combat attacks hitting on threes, uh, oh. fours, I think, right? Because you got the. Oh, there. that's true. There's two misses yeah. in there. Threes to wound then. One wounding hit. Ah, uh, and a reroll. One wounding hit. One wounding hit. Uh, One save. Okay, not bad. And then we got the aspiring sorcerer with his uh, force weapon, which you have a feel no pain against. Threes to hit normally. We got one hit and a wound. Minus one. Minus one puts me to a four up. I make it. All right, not bad there. And then uh, the sorcerer last. His force weapon has five attacks. Normally twos to hit. Everything hits here. Uh, we get an extra hit in there because of the psychic attack. We, again, always taking sustained hits. That's the first one that's really come up, though. Yep. 
Uh, I think I might have been missing the other ones. These are threes to wound, re-rolling this one single wound roll. That is four at minus one. Four at minus one puts me to a four up. Yeah, no D3 damage per fail, but no fails. I can't fail. That's it. That's all can't my stop. attacks. I won't stop. Wow, I got three up. I expect no damage. Yeah, you... I didn't even roll feel no pains, though. Uh, you, you can fight me back now. That's my all right, let's uh, get ready to pile on in. Now, before Josh attacks, uh, the start of the combat phase, I'm supposed to use Weaver of Fates uh, for two of my three Cabal points. Two out of my five Cobalt points, leaving me at three. It'll give me one reroll for this phase to try and save some face here and there. Probably won't matter too much, but I'm just using my resources. They they might come up. I believe in you. Maybe. I believe well. in you. Uh, so this is going to be the regular gals swinging. Uh, yeah, I'm looking for just three. I'm seeing if I get any bonuses here, and I don't. I just go faster. Okay. Three's to hit. Nah, not bad start. Salt start. Uh, and then they are a whopping strength of three. Okay, fives. I uh, don't even worry about rolling any of those. All right, no problem. But the character. So we've got the character, and she is swinging in with her Executioner Great Blade. Here's three attacks, hitting on twos. They all hit, and these are anti psyker five up. Strength five. Death wounds. Okay. Look for fives, then. Three's to wound, but fives are spicy. Okay, so we've got two sets of dev wounds there. So this is one regular one that's going to be at minus two, two damage. For a pinball and save, we're going to make it. And then those just, they're two, not precision, are they? I assume. They are not precision, no. That kills two rubric marines, leaving me with the aspiring sorcerer and my exalted sorcerer. Not bad. Didn't really get a chance to do a reroll there, but that's okay. Didn't really need one, I suppose. Okay. And then consolidating in. Yep. No, no, no. That's it. That's it. That's all I've got. That's all I can conjure. Well, that will end my turn totally. Uh, for my secondaries, though, I do get two victory points for scoring investigate signals with the Zangworth in that one table corner. I didn't have any other table corners available. But I do extend my battle lines. I control my home objective, and I control this one No Man's Land objective over there that will get me seven points on secondaries. I'm not discarding any cards. I'm not going to get any command points. I do have one still stored up, so as we go into Josh's turn, we're both going to You might have up. this one. You have that one, I believe. Uh, yeah, okay, never mind. I yeah. didn't know if I had just the character on it. Oh, yeah. Uh, all the same. Uh, that's it. Seven points for me. Looking at my pulls, I'm going to get Overwhelming Force and Investigate Signals as my two initial pulls. Uh, you know what? I like those well enough. I'm just going to hold on to them. Alrighty. Uh, starting my turn. Uh, we did double check. Yeah, you, don't, you weren't on that objective over there. Mm -hmm. uh, but I am. So I'm going to have this objective and my home objective. You have to battle shock them first. Oh, yes. Good call. Uh, six up for battle shock. They're... I knew that it was important over there, but I can remember why. And we literally just talked about it. They get a seven. So yeah, they're good. No worries. No worries. That's seven points. Two for your home. Five for that one. Uh, tying me on primary. And then looking to do your secondaries this turn, which were pretty easy. That unit back they're there. Straightforward. So they're going to, yeah. yeah. So if we look at the top down, uh, this unit is going to be moving back. Because uh, I have nothing else to do in the command phase, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this before I forget. Yeah, we already uh, got the... Hey, uh, look at us go. Yeah, we got Josh at one command point. I'm at two currently because I couldn't discard a card last turn. So they stand back there. They're going to be the ones investigating signals. Uh, yeah, nothing's really going to go for this one over here, I suppose. No reason to. Two points is two points. Two points is two points, and I have custodians to try to beat up, and i got to just start killing some units here. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, we'll get my movement going. Uh, we did go ahead and move the sister squad back. I did fall under half here, so I do owe you a check. But I don't think... No, I think that these were the ones that didn't need to do the check because they started out as a 10-man squad. Oh, they have nine man with swords and a character? Yep. Okay, then you passed the one. Yeah, yeah, so they, okay, sorry. So, I assume they were yes. both 11 squads. Yeah. Weird. No, uh, well, it's because of how they come in the boxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah I so, see. Yeah. They're, they're, they're either, they start at 4 or 5 and then go up to 9 or 10. 8, 9, or 10. Well, they go, oh, I guess... Four, eight, nine, ten. Yep, yep. So they're four, five, eight, nine, ten. Yes. And that's for how many you can have in the squad. Yeah, interesting. So, okay, so there's the clarification on the battle shocks. Gotcha, I, gotcha, I, messed okay. that up. I thought they both 11, yeah. And uh, yeah, so back to the top down. The uh, the real stuff we're going to take care of, we have one unit of sisters to move and then two squads of custodians. Uh, and then, well, the swords are going to go somewhere. We are back. Movie magic. Yes. Uh, so we did move up Alea's squad to be barely within charge range of the Terminators there. I think I had to roll a 10 or 11 to make that charge. Yeah. Bolters have moved up. The Custodians have moved up, so I think they got to roll a six to make their charge. Yep. And then the Venatari have jumped over to get their pistols into the game. 
Uh, the when the custodian the custodians move kind of early. Oh, sorry. Yes, yeah. the custodians. There is a Overwatch coming here. Yeah, I'm gonna Overwatch with the Terminator squad and the custodians. Just hopefully get hopefully getting lucky. Maybe getting if I get two damage, I'll be happy. Uh, I'll go ahead and just resolve the Hellfire missiles first because I do have one with two wounds. If that matters. To yeah, me, well, it's, it's the same ish. Oh, I'll do no. The Hellfire is fine. Eh, okay, I'll do all the little. No Hellfires. Keep going back and forth. They miss anyways. It's all good. Don't okay, matter. Sick. And then the two shots from the character uh, with his psychic attack does not hit. And just in case he has a third attack, okay. I could remember if he had two or three shots. I have the six shots from the Soul Reaper, which are sixes. Oh, I've got two hits there. That's not bad. Your T6 on them, I assume. Yeah. Fours to wound. Uh, Ooh. Jeez, I actually don't know. You know what? I can't remember. I should have picked up my dice if I was first. I'll say two wounds at minus one because they're wound. devastating. So I, I wasn't too sure if the six was a knock. I think you die rolled a six. Uh, I'm pretty sure you rolled a six. So yeah, one wound to one six, yes. and then I have. I'll just get the bolter. Ah, yeah, go ahead and roll those. Okay, right? I got to figure out. So the the, there's the dev wound that I can't do anything about. Yeah. And then the actual save. E. Oh. Uh, do I pass on a one? No. I do kill a guy. I got lucky. There we go. Take him out. It's one less of the custodians fighting me. Uh, and then I have one, two, three, four, five bolter shots that are all going to be in rapid fire range, it looks like, for a total of 20 shots. Yeah. 20 shots with my bolt guns. I'll just throw 10 dice twice. I got a hit on the first volley. And the second one will do oh, another hit. These are fives to wound. One at AP1. Okay. Nothing. I don't Nothing. care. I got the two damage in there. Not too bad. That's, I, got... I mean, that's a way less attacks. Yes. Now it's time to get over to my shooting. And I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with my unit of Venatari over there. They're going to be firing their pistols into your uh, Rubik Marines. Pop, pop, pop. My kinetic destroyers, of course. Well, I mean, that's fair. We're very we're very susceptible to kinetic force. Yeah, that's that's unfortunate. Yeah. yeah. I mean, our armor is built to try to resist as much of it as possible, but you know, there's but there's these a but these destroy so yeah. kinetically. Uh, hitting on twos, they are sustained hits. Uh, okay, so I got the exact amount I was supposed to get. Yeah, with ma yeah, the, the hitting the on twos is, yeah. with sixes of sustain are going to be 100 percent hit. And then these are strength six. It's like hey, that's cocked. Three's to wound. Uh, what AP are we looking at? Oh, here? We're at an AP of one, one damage. All right, well, we're kind of in the open. These are all four ups. I take a single damage on a Rubik Marine. No. That's that's it, eh? Yeah. All right, fair. What, what do you mean that's it? I just felt like that's pretty good. That's not bad. Next little bit of shooting will be my custodians shooting over into your um, Terminators. Terminators. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's do it. Let's go ahead and cast my spell. Uh, the the shooting's the same. Uh, here we go. Uh, hitting on twos, Alaka Blam. Wow, was that? I've missed thrice. Are there no sustains or anything? Uh, no. Two damage shots. I'm not yet. that cool. Uh, these are going to wound you on fives, really ones. Oh, 20 strength, four. Yes. I'm going to get uh, three of them. Minus these one? are minus one, two damage. Three ups. Uh, well, one guy takes two. Okay. I will use my once per game Sentinel Storm and fire again. Shoot again. Recast my spell. I've, well, I've missed twice again. I mean, can't always hit. No, that's that's fair. Uh, fives. One more? Uh, just one more, yeah. These are... Oh, are we up again? We're good. You're fine. We took two damage. Last little bit will be the prosecutors shooting over into your terminators as well. Here's five shots hitting you on threes. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, Look at me bad. go. I got some hits. Uh, I'm really looking for dev wounds here. Just on sixes? On sixes. Uh, it's precision as well. But oh, okay. Yeah. I'm not too fussed about that. Oh, nice. Oh, two there's two of them. Perfect. Uh, it's probably not strength five. You know what? I will let you put one on your unit, and I will put one onto your character. All right. Well, that'll be this guy's dead, and then I think my Terminator character has five wounds, but I'll have to double check that. He does have five wounds, so down to four. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, I believe that's it for my shooting. We're just going to go over to my charges. You got any pistols on the Sisters of Silence? Anything like that? No. You should get a sword. All right. Later. Yeah, no, I don't have pistols on no them. pistols. All right. Uh, so over to my charges, which I just made more difficult. Uh, you know what? Yeah, we're going to start with the squad right here, seeing if I can make the charge. This is the long bomb one. And I probably need a good, like, 11-ish to make it in. Probably. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, can I make it? Yeah. Not with a six. 
You got a command point. If I'm you not want. gonna spend it on that. Yeah. I'm gonna save it for the uh, the oh, next squad, which the custodian will be guard squad, the right? custodian guard squad, which is more important for me to be able to make my charge in. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Their charge distance is going to be seven. That's good enough. They only, I think, they only need a six. Correct. They have successfully made their charge, and then I've got one last little charge, which is going to be my Venatari charging in against your rubrics in the back there. My total charge distance for them shall be ten. All I right. make it. I assume nothing fancy. You want to be around the objective. I want to be around the objective. Yeah, exactly. That's all my charges gone. Um, I got, I got the ones I cared about. So let's go to this first little combat here. Where I'm going to pile my custodians in. Fight. Fight. And uh, we're gonna, yeah, give you the good news. Since I've chosen them to fight, I need to pick one of these stances. There's only two now. A little bit bummed out about it, but that's okay. I'm gonna go with the Dakatari stance, and that's the stand hits one on them. Oh, that reminds me, I do have to pick a Weaver of Fates. Well, I'm gonna pick Weaver of Fates. I have three cabal points left, I'm gonna use two of them uh, to let me do a reroll at some point in this phase. Ooh. I'm gonna save, a save, reroll a save. Well, it's, it's still a good thing. Yeah, it's ideal. I like it. Let's start off with some spears. I'm going to be hitting you on twos. Good start. Uh, pull out two. They put two back in. Yep, 100%. So again, I've hit exactly how many I should. Strength seven, but I get a penalty to wound if I would have wounded you better. Uh, they have like a bodyguard, not bodyguard rule, it's a bad term, but like if they have a character in the unit, they're minus one to wound if your strength is higher yeah, than my Yeah, so they, they get the warden's rule. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mo my, pretty much every army has something like that. Is that a USR now? I yes. make that a USR. Yes. Uh, fours. Oh, uh, I reroll ones. Nice. Okay, that helped. Any devastating wounds on those attacks? No, I'm custodies. Four. That's four, and these are at AP two, two damage. Uh, right to my four binwall, and bloop. I will use my Weaver Fate to reroll, and then two da- Well, no one's wounded, so I'll just take two damage then. Indeed. And then I've got the sword swinging at you. Uh, same thing. These are looking for twos to hit. Sustain are nice. Uh, yep, so I put one back in. And then these are only strength five. So four is all the thing. Uh, okay, the swords are <laughs> much more upset. There Luckily, these are only one damage a piece. Oh, okay. But at the same AP. Eight of them? Yep. One damage each. AP two. They're still looking at four ups. I will fail oh, quite a bit of them. One damage, though? One damage. So I lose a Terminator from earlier, and I'll lose a second Terminator and take a wound on another. Nice. So this is the guy who gets cut down by the spear and one of the swords. We're going to lose another model. Uh, not going to be the sorcerer, but we're going to lose the probably the missile rack. And then we'll take a damage on our little soul reaper there. You'll have two remaining wounds. Not bad. One correction. I'm going to lose the soul reaper and keep the hellfire rack, because the hellfire rack was the model and range of the objective. Yeah, I do a nice little pile in. Uh, you don't have enough to inter uh, interrupt? No. Nope. Okay. So we're going to be moving over to the Venatari combat now. I'm going to pick a Dakatari stance over here as well. Uh, so these aren't the best attacks, but they're plentiful. Uh, hitting on twos. Why are there so many ones? Hmm. I got a couple sixes. <laughs> okay, so I get to throw three back in. Um, but I'm still four attacks down of what I thought I would be. And then these are strength five. Oh, three then, yep. I assume and AP one, one damage. AP two, one damage. Oh, AP two is pretty good, nine, yep. nine saves. Five right here, we got another four. Uh, four, uh, yeah, minus two, five ups. So do I have a wound over there? I do, so that's one dead, two dead, three dead, four dead. We have just our champion left. Our oh, aspiring sorcerer. Gonna go bop, 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 bop. Would you like to consolidate? Uh, you, you, you sure. Yeah. Unless you know what, uh, just keep me near the objective. I'm it, pretty it, okay. It doesn't change too much because I'm still in engagement range. Yeah, yeah I'm good. It's like a non-move essentially. Uh, I get to pick to fight something now. Let's do that fight. I got two guys over there, but unfortunately, both their both their both of their four stats are psychic attacks. So we'll see what we can get done. All the same. Now, I got the Aspiring Sorcerer and the Exalted Sorcerer. Uh, they have the same profile, except the yellow dice hit on twos, because that's the Exalted Sorcerer. Threes, otherwise. Uh, we have one miss and one sustain, because it's a psychic attack. So let's put one more in there. It's about the same. These are Strength 6, collectively wounding on twos. They are rerolling ones to wound. And these are all four up saves, because they're only minus one. How many you got there? Seven. Seven? Yes. Five, six, seven, four ups coming up. All right. I've failed. Four. Okay. 
four of them. Not bad. Four. Uh, how many models do you have? They're all the same, right? So it's going to be... Yeah, it's going to... Yeah. It doesn't really matter. So you have two one damage ones and two three damage ones. Okay, so we'll just uh, take care of a three damage one. Uh, dead. Nice. Take care of a three damage one. Alive. Nice. And then two one damage ones. Two one damage ones. Dead. So I lose two. Took out two. Now for my mighty, mighty swing back. Yeah. Uh, we'll start with the regular sisters. Uh, these are going to be threes and fives. I've hit you twice. Ooh. I've wounded you none. And fancy character sword. Fancy character. Uh, three attacks on twos. That's a good start. And then these are strength five. Three. But anti psyker five. Yep. Okay. Uh, so there is one dev wound there, and then there is your regular save. And these are all two damage? Uh, these are all two damage, correct. All right, so I got to do the four up invuln, which I hopefully pass. I do. And then the dev wound just kills the uh, sergeant off. So I do keep my exalted sorcerer alive for another turn. I get to fight back with my remaining units. The Sorcerer in Terminator Armor and his bodyguard, the Scarab Occult, are going to attack these custodians here. And I'm going to figure out what that looks like. You don't have any interaction with psychic attacks on them, I assume. On the custodians, no. Just regular stuff? All right. Well, I got one Prospering Kopesh and then a couple four sticks. I'm going to go with the Prospering Kopesh first, hitting on no negatives to hit you, so threes. Lethal. I'm going to remember lethal hits on them now. I probably... The six to hit last turn would have been wounds, and they still went through, so it's all the same difference, essentially. Uh, anyways, so you got one lethal hit. One lethal hit, two hits with this Kopesh, and a strength five. Two at minus two. Two at minus two is yep. going to put me in eye. Your hair's going wild, dude. I know, I was just messing you with it. You got, like, cockatoo hair now. Yeah. Okay, uh, four ups. Uh, two damage each. Okay, well, you've uh, killed them in, and which would be one of the sword guys, because I'm trying to lose them first. Uh, yeah, we got a bunch of... Luckily, I could do the force attacks between the the Sorcerer and Terminator armor and the actual Aspiring Sorcerer. Just one is four attacks and one is five attacks. Uh, I'm going to double check that, actually. Yep, it's nine attacks between the two four sticks. These are threes to hit with lethal. Didn't get any lethals. And lethals would have been nice because they would have been sustains. These are threes to wound. Mm. And four of them at minus one. At minus one, how much damage are these? D3. These are D3 apiece. Yep. Okay, let's put it onto the shield guy first. Four up. Hold by a. F Cut, should have three ups? It's only minus one. Oh, it's only minus one? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Yep. Well, that's fine. We'll still put it on the same guy. Uh, three up. Oh, that, there you go. I failed. D3 damage. He'll take one damage. Okay, and then on him again. Ooh. He's fine. All right, just one damage. I got one, my, my one little sad sorcerer. I'm going to pile in here with his four staff. He's got three attacks on the Venatari. Uh, hit him on threes. Got a hit. Yeah, we How dare you? And that's a wound. wound. Minus one. Uh, three up. Oh, I fail. Uh, D3 damage. Two. Uh, just put two left onto one of them. Uh, no problem. Four wounds. Oh, they got fancy shields. They also they got four shields, wounds. Yeah. yeah, fair. <laughs> Gotta do something. And uh, I think that's it. I do believe that is it. What were your secondaries? I can't so quite remember. The secondaries I had to try to do is I had to investigate signals, which I successfully completed way in the back here with these two four victory sisters. points. Not bad. And then overwhelming force, which I didn't kill something on an objective. Right. Strangely enough, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna pitch it to get myself an extra command point. Uh, I have you at one here still, so you're gonna go to two, and then yes. three on my turn. Yep. That, gotcha. That's the math. Perfect. Uh, and then nothing else to do. But you got two points on your secondary. So I put you at nine secondary points because you had seven earlier. And the score currently is, <laughs> it's actually pretty close. I'm at 17. Just at six. Josh is at 16. It's a good tight game. Interesting. Huh. Oh, indeed. My three new cards for the turn. The first two will be engaged in all fronts and bring it down. Bring it down is an auto fail. Can't do that one. There's no monsters or vehicles in Josh's list, so probably gonna get rid of that one, which means I'm gonna draw a third card. And it's gonna be Defend Stronghold, which, I mean, definitely possible. Depends on how well the fight with the Custodian Guard in the middle go. And uh, if I can do it, that's three victory points, and I won't I won't scoff at that. So we're gonna work on engage in all fronts and defend a Stronghold. Uh, command phase for me, uh, we have command points to gain. So just as an update, I'm at three, Josh currently. No, other way around, I'm at two, Josh at three. Because he discarded a card. 
I have to do battle shock checks. And, you know, we're playing the Null, Null Sisterhood, so there's a lot of interaction here. We're a psyker. The main ones I have to do battle shocks on, or the only ones I have to do battle shocks on, are this sorcerer over here, but there's no ladies nearby, so it's just a regular battle shock roll. I've already used my insane bravery. And my exalted sorcerer right there. And he is at two out of five wounds, so he is under half strength, which means I gotta do a battle shock at minus one because we're near some ladies. And if I fail this, I take mortal wounds, or is that the strat? No, that's the strat. That's the strat, that's gotcha. The strat. Okay. So if I battle shock with him, I lose three cabal points. If I pass all my battle shocks, I'll be at seven cabal points. And I could weave her fates a few times or doom bolts, so a lot of flexibility. I'm gonna start with him. He's at six normally for so dramatic that? effect. I got a three. And a six, so he passes. You're fine. And then I'll do the Aspiring Sorcerer over here, which I believe is a six. Uh, he passes as well, even if there's a negative cool. one on him. So we can go to Cabal Point Generation. I'm going to pick Sustained Hits and my Psychic Attacks again. And uh, I get one Cabal Point for this guy. I get two Cabal Points for the Sorcerer in Terminator Armor. One Cabal Point for the Sorcerer in the Scarab Occult. So that's one, two, three, four. And then my Exalted Sorcerer gives me three because he's got the Athenaeum Scroll. So we're at seven Cabal points, which means I could do a nasty Doom Bolt or I can just try and weave her fate a bunch. We'll see. I mean, we'll figure it out. Uh, otherwise, for scoring, I'm only on my home objective for two primary victory points. So not great. Obviously, I got muscled off of this one over here. But we're going to try and make some magic happen throughout the rest of the game and see what we can accomplish uh, as we go to the movement phase. Movement phase, this Aspiring Sorcerer is going to retreat from this combat. Why are you going to be like that? Uh, we're just going to stay. You have no weird pile in if you're not engaged. I don't. I could just overwatch you, though. You could. Can't stop that. I'm going to fall back pretty much no matter what here. So if you want to use a CP for overwatch. Uh, yeah, it, it's kind of a boring use of a CP, but I'm going to do it because it's kind of important over there. Yep. So overwatch. It just, it just pretty much dictates where the middle of the vortex beast goes. That's fair. Uh, looking for sixes. They're sustained? Yes. Yes. Every six is. None. All right, you're down to two command points. I knew that wasn't going to work. I don't know why I did it. I would have done it, like, no question. So, it's the right call. It's just not a guaranteed, not a guaranteed thing. No. Uh, yeah, we're going to have our Zangors, I guess, show up to the middle just to reinforce this objective in case this goes a little bit more sideways. I don't expect them to be charging, but if I need them, I need them. They'd be having a good time. I don't know if I want to, they can't advance and charge, but they get they get bonuses to charge. They got an idiot blowing a horn. They got a weird guy with a flag that might assist in this somehow. You know what? They're all just gonna come on up and hang out and pile in over this way. It's bird noises. Yeah, weird bird weird bird noises specifically. The middle of the vortex beast is free to move and free to wreak havoc. Ah, oh, ten inches. So he will go. Right to the midboard position. Yeah. Ooh, he's got a nasty flamer. He's gonna try and uh, utilize against those. Uh, Vigilators there with swords. They're, they're standing vigil. If I could deny you some victory points, all the better. It'd be really cool if it was a psychic attack. It is not. Oh, that's a shame. Luckily for me. And when he finishes a movement, he does mortal wounds to enemies nearby. But it's oh. random, so I gotta figure that out. So be right back. No, that's actually at the end of the, end of the movement phase. The six inch aura of uh, on a one, nothing happens. On a two, a D3 mortal wounds. On a six, a three, I believe. I, I literally just looked it up. I'll look it up again later. And the Exalted Sorcerer is going to stay where he is. I don't like it, but if I... He I have there. Yeah. If I fall back from there, I have to take a Desperate Escape check because he's... Uh, I can't remember why. Uh, it's because of the Nice Centura has an ability that... It's a Nice Centura. So it's like a... And it's because he's under half strength, it's... No, no. It's If he's Battle Shock, he gets an additional... Oh, one. so it's only a regular one, eh? It's a regular one. Hmm. After much humming and hawing, I will attempt a desperate escape. Uh, it's because of the, On this again, lad right here? Yes, because of the, the man with the flaming shoulders? The character in there. Oy! We're good. Oh, okay. Bless. Save a command point. Uh, just move him six towards the objective, I guess. Uh, he's just going to... Does he want to go past it a little bit? Like yeah, he'll go as far as he can. He can go <laughs> like stand here. Gonna hang out right there, and uh, if things go well for me, things go well for me. If they don't go well for me, they don't go well for me. Simple as that. Easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh, we can go to the end of the moon phase where the middle of the vortex beast is going to attempt to do some mortal wounds to the custodian guard there by rolling high on a d6 uh, one. So it, I think it has no effect. Uh, he just, I think he dies. I don't think he dies, but. No, I'm pretty sure I read that somewhere. <laughs> uh, one is no effect. But every unit has to take a battle shock check. Battle shock check still. 11? They're good. Yeah, they don't care. Uh, for actual shoosting, uh, start of the shooting phase, I am going to doom bolt. 
Uh, I'm going to try uh, my best to utilize the Doom Bolt. I don't know where, though. Probably my best bet is actually these Custodian Guards here so that I can assist further on that side of the battlefield. So we're going to have this Sorcerer hit those Custodian Guard with the Doom Bolt and alleviate some of the pressure on me. So it's automatic D3 mortal wounds. For roll 2 up, it's D3 plus 3. For roll 6, it's like 6 plus D3 Okay, so you wounds. do that and then you roll the D3 after? Correct. Okay, gotcha. Yep. So it's going to be, this is the amount of mortal wounds I'm going to roll. 5. It's going to be D3 plus 3 mortal wounds. Uh, it's four mortal wounds, but it kills a guard. Yeah, and wounds another. Definitely kills a guard. Boop. Uh, so to there. You have no feel, no pain, anything against mortal wounds, nothing like no, that. No, I would have something like that. Okay, so I mean, the rule book says I don't have anything. Fair. Okay. So get them off my table. Well, I've got the one guy. Get yeah, get him. Uh, the rest of my shoe sting. Uh, well, we have a warp smite from the actual sorcerer in the unit. Okay, no, wait a second. That was a psychic ability you just did, eh? Uh, yes, that was a psychic. Well, it was, yeah, it was a psychic. It's a, it's, a, it's, it's an army ability that has the psychic tag too. So I assume yes. I mean, even if it doesn't, I would say yes because it'd be ridiculous if it wasn't a psychic ability that that's, targets one of your units. That's because well, it's got to target something. Yeah. Yep. So I might just pop my strat just to say that I did. Yeah, and I have no more, uh, no more cabal points. That I'm was just it. looking at like other options, and I think this is still probably the proper option. So yes, Desperation's Price. I will spend one. Ooh. And we will just say it's with this squad right here. Yep. Uh, so they are uh, Battle Shooketh. Oh, I do and a you thing. you take the test. Yeah, I do a thing. Take a test. Uh, they roll well enough to pass. Okay, so they're just Battle Shock. They don't take three mortals. I'm going to put that over there. That means they can't use no Stratum gems. And they're OC is zero, obviously. But we got uh, Zengors near the objective, so we're okay still for that. Uh, to proceed with my shooting, I'm going to go Warp Smite from the actual Sorcerer in the unit. The the Spiry Sorcerer, the actual character Sorcerer, does not have an attack he can do. Warp Smite from that Sorcerer is a pistol. It's three attacks. Uh, oh, we got a sustain and a miss, so we just have all hits. Oh, what was I going to pick for the reroll hit roll? I guess I'll pick the same unit, so I'll reroll hit rolls a one. That's fair. And they all hit, and we got four hits, though. And these are anti-infantry four up dev wounds, so it's two damage. And... Oh, just it. two dev wounds? Just two dev wounds, yep. Oh, okay. So I uh, killed another guy. Eat that. Psychic powers. I did forget I rolled a six hit for the sustain, so it's lethal as well. So oh, it's just lethal? There's one more extra. At minus three? Yes. For a worse might. Just one damage. Mm. Okay. So he's got two wounds left. We're getting them. We're bullying them. Uh, the last thing to shoot will be the Mule of the Vortex Beast is going to roast these fair ladies. Uh, so you're shooting his... into the... Uh, Vigilators. Yes. Probably my best bet. He's got a... With my named character and everything? Yeah, with your named character <laughs> yeah. and everything. It's 2d6, strength 6, automatic hits. So hopefully you just paint... I like the... how you didn't look at me in the eyes when you said it. No, it's hopefully 10. 10 works. 10 works. This is this is the... Uh, this is his hour. The hour of the Mule with the Vortex Beast. Is it, is it Ignore Cover? Yeah, it's a Flamer. Yeah. Okay, okay. Ignore Cover. It's AP 1 or 2. I'll have to double check that part, though. It is... Ignoring cover. Two's to wound. No rerolls. Uh, that is ten wounds. At minus ten wounds at minus one. Oh, at minus one, even better. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I've got four in the squad before it gets to the character. Uh, do they all have the same save? You could probably roll them at the same time. Uh, she has her own feel no pain, but I guess that doesn't really matter a whole lot because I can just do that after. Oh, she's got her own basic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, yep. Yeah. And she's got an involved save, but again, it's only AP one, so it doesn't really matter. There's ten. Yeah, she doesn't have a two-up save, right? No, she only got okay. a three-up save. Yeah, I'm confirming that as I uh, say yes, most definitely. Four ups. Oosh. First four just kills ladies. Only got three? Uh, only three. Oh, three it is. Okay. I think. Uh, Owie. Not bad. The jerk. Less effective than I hoped, but that's the saves for you. Uh, two. Three. Yeah. And then I think... We're just going to go to charging because everything else is retreated. No, no potential attacks there. And Vortex Beast is going to declare a charge against the Witch Seeker squad. Hopefully he makes it. we got a command point here to re-roll it. He rolls an eight. Oh, that'll make it. Eight will probably do it. Hey, uh, that's a shame. Yeah, we'll go right there. We'll fight him with my big, scary, weird, mutilith tentacle monster all over him. We're going to get him good. All right, you make that charge. I could heroically intervene. But you're weirdly terrifying. Uh, he's got a lot. He's got more attacks than I thought he did. He's got yeah, he does. <laughs> Fifteen tentacle mouth attacks, and he's got five respectable attacks with his like essentially big chaos spawn hands. 
Yeah. yeah, I'm going to avoid that for now. I don't have a good way to deal with that. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, otherwise, we're... Uh, I'm going to try a charge with the Zangor just to get some random X. He's only got two wounds left, and if I could just save any damage on these uh, Terminators, that'd be great. Uh, the Zangors probably need, like, a nine to get in there. I'll roll, and then, as I do, check afterwards, because I'm lazy. Eight? Well, now I got to look. Eight is good enough for this guy to get under the building here, so he'll go in a straight line, ending up right there and then this guy will go eight up this way not quite yet within an inch but when we pile in we'll get I'm not gonna get many attacks but it's just forming the objective with dudes and dudes uh, is the right call maybe if i'm lucky i get two damage on him i like highly doubt it but you never know until you try otherwise i'm done charging and i can go uh right to fighting and i don't think those sisters are gonna do too much damage to that vortex beast we're gonna go <laughs> with the zangors first we're gonna pile them in Get this guy in there fighting. Just get a few guys in there touching base. Couple guys fighting on this side. Getting that guy uh, in base. He can't really even get in base contact, so it'll be four Zangors fighting. And uh, the rest will be happy. Can he get? No, just four Zangors fighting. Just gonna pile in this way. And we'll see what four of them look like. Happy little birds. Ah, uh, they're two attacks each with their Zangor blades. Oy, they hit on fours. The odds of getting two damage in here are not likely. Five to wound. Two wounds of minus one. Oh, right. it can there's, happen. There's, there's uh, a one wound. in thirty-six chance. Can we do it? Double wound. Uh, Rapey one, but we get one damage. Oh, okay. He's got one. One wound left. Wound left. I assume you don't want to interrupt with the sis sisters over there. I'm not gonna have the sisters go. I will choose to have him go. There's no point. Well, you get to go before I go, so there's no point interrupting. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Sorry. Well, the vortex beast goes now. Oh, yeah. yeah you yeah, could so interrupt yeah, with the sisters. No, interrupt. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're gonna start with this betentacled maw at 15 attacks, hitting on threes. I'll drop the die, I'm gonna three roll one of these misses. Oh, right, it worked. A few hits, a few misses in there. He's strength seven, no AP, but two to wound. So hopefully we just brute force our way through the power armor. Yeah, I think one, you're going to. Five, ten. Three, ten saves. Ten man. three up saves. Um, one damage each. There is no feel no pain on. Non psychic. Yep. <laughs> oh no. Uh, so that's the two sisters dead. And you said, okay, so she's got one wound left. All right, well, I got five big claw attacks from her, from his mutilith claws. Uh, five of them hitting on threes and wounding on twos. Oh, nice. Only one. It's minus two, though. Minus two is going to put me to my five up in Vulm. That's that, uh, dead. I think she, I think yeah. she died. I just want to command point it. I got no other attacks after that. Now, I assume you can just um, overwatch out too, eh? Overwatch out, sorry? Uh, even if I stay engaged with you in combat. He's still, he's a monster. Yep, he can just, any, any of those little ladies move, they're getting overwatched. Mm, so it doesn't really matter. Yep, no, we'll just lose him. Boop, right. boop, boop. I'm probably going to consolidate into the other unit. May as well, yeah. Just to tie him up a little bit. We're just going to go three. We'll get him in base contact with the name character. Hopefully, hopefully you're not strong enough to chop through his 13 wounds. I, I'm not. <laughs> I can't imagine you are, but, you know, we'll never know. Stranger things. This one single wound custodian guard gets to go before my turn. All right, come on, buddy. Let's do this. Uh, I will choose to have him go sustained hits. Sustained hits, yeah. And then we'll do Ayala and uh, her one vigilator afterwards. Yes. Yes. Uh, two. Oh, look at that. Got I assume little... this is in the Terminators as well. Absolutely it is. Forced to wound because I'm a bodyguard. Didn't matter too much. That guy rolled very well. Five, five wounding hits. Five at... You're in Vulnerable Save. I have one before it dies and goes to him. So I'm going to do two at a time just in case. So that means my car uh, the one uh, missile rack dies. And my guy has... I could do these two at a time. Because if I double fail, I'm going to use a command point to pass this one with one of the... It's one of the Thousand Sun strats, one of your Psyker models. After a fail, the saving throw reduces the damage to zero. So he took two damage, and he's got one more to make. Ah, he still dies. Okay. That's not bad, though. Not bad. This one custodian guard was able to destroy a unit of Scare Recall, leaving me with just the Sorcerer character. Still have four wounds, but he's free to not fight that custodian guard. All right, here we go. Kawabunga it is. Let's yeah. see if I can't uh, get some damage onto you. Uh, the first Vigilator swinging in with the Great Blade. 
Uh, hitting you on threes. I've hit you twice. Strength five. Sixes. Uh, they are dev wounds, though. There yep. you go. No, they didn't. They didn't do the thing. <laughs> and um, I would get bonuses against you if you are under your full health, which you are not, obviously. I'll get you with something eventually. Uh, here's Alea swinging in, and she's going to make a grand total of four attacks. These are hitting on twos. She's a better uh, at hitting. I don't know why I said it like that. Uh, these are going to be fives to wound. Uh, strength six. Dev? Uh, yep. So just three devastating wounds. He has the five of feel no pain built in. He takes two. He's got 11 wounds remaining. Huzzah. Not bad. Not bad. All right. That's the, uh, that's the end of my turn because, uh, because he's not going in this guy. He's, he's too far. He can't, uh, he didn't charge. So he can't file in. Oh, good call. He's not. Okay. Yeah. I was off by fighting. I need one more save to try and kill that custodian off, but that's okay because, uh, he's still fighting Zangors. At least they made their charge. Fair. Uh, we're going to, for scoring on my side, I do have engage in all fronts. I'm in three of the table corners. I got one sorcerer alive, the exalted sorcerer alive, and then my own home table corner. That's normally worth two points. But if you draw it tactically, it's worth three. Uh, the other one was defend my stronghold, which I'm only halfway to doing. So at the end of Josh's turn, if I still control this, that's worth three additional victory points. Uh, that puts my secondaries to grand total of 13 for now, with the potential of going to 16 at the end of Josh's turn. But that's, that's it for me. The pulls I ended up with, I have deploy teleport homer. Eh, I've also got cleanse, which is more <laughs> of a meh. Yeah, yep. And then I have to engage on all fronts. That's doable, very doable. I don't, they're, they're all doable. They are, they are all doable, but I don't love any of them. So I think the one I will get rid of will be a cleanse. Leaving me with deploy teleport homer and engage on all fronts. All right, here we go. We are back. I must... Uh, uh, um, well, we got command points. You're at three. I'm at I'm two. At three, eh? Yeah, yeah. I'm contemplating doing the auto pass with that brave sentinel there, and then mm. he just falls back and engages in all fronts. Yeah, I could Overwatch him. I'll probably Overwatch him. What do you What do you have for Overwatch over there? Uh, Vortex Beast. Uh, the... the Vortex Beast in range? Oh, I mean, I, I assume you're gonna go backwards that way. This guy's got a dope Overwatch. He's got. He's definitely good for doing it. Yeah. I mean, that... I, I probably would. What's he got for Overwatch? Stormbolt. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I or always... he's got he's got psychic attacks as well. I but... still only have the one wound is the problem. Yes. Oh no, he's battle shocked. He can't. Uh... Oh, that's right. He is battle shocked. He can't. Actually, I don't really have much Overwatch. It depends on where you go. This guy's got Overwatch. He can do maybe. Yeah, because again, I would just want to engage in all fronts here. Yeah. There's a Zangor back by that portal. I'm just noticing. Oh yeah, he's supposed to be with the rest. Thank you for correcting that. There we go. Yeah, so uh, I think maybe I auto pass there so I can get the engage easier. What's the? He's got to be like. We should five or six. I guess you don't, want to risk it. you don't want to risk it, though. Yeah, why would I risk it? I spend a command point and True. get points. This is the first time I've ever said something like that out loud. It's true. But, uh, yeah, we're going to auto-pass him. That's fair. And then I need to roll a battle shock test for uh, Alea yeah. and company. So that'll knock you down to two, I suppose. Oop. Looking for a six up. You're good? She's fine. She doesn't care. A-okay. She can't move because <laughs> that thing is just going to destroy. That thing's really kind of spooky. Uh, against well, like against this, if yeah. I brought some something that could kill a vehicle, I then uh, well they could have, but they got they didn't they went to go beat up my Sir Terminators, I guess they beat the crap out of my Terminators. So it's yeah. true. Um, so yeah, I think that is it for my command phase. So let's get to the thing where we do the moves. Ah, uh, scoring you get oh yeah scoring yeah. yes Boom. You get two and five for over here. Yeah, uh, for another seven on your primary. That puts you at 14 primary. So Does this one care if I have both of the middles or just one of them? Uh, sorry, just one model. Yeah, one model is all you need. Yeah, yeah, no, I've got that over there. I'm just saying for this mission because I can't remember what It mission. cares for both, yes. What's, yes, the, what's I, the OP I, on the... What's the... Uh, sorry, The objective? OC on my uh, Vigilators... Oh, it's only OC1. Then it is no one's objective. Never mind. I thought they were OC2, but I must be thinking about my other squad. Yeah. Yep, cool. But yeah, seven points, put you at 14 primary. I'm at nine primary, so you're still beating me there. Because I only got two on the one turn. All right, so we're getting ready to do some moves. This one guy did uh, fall back, this custodian guard. Yeah, so the custodian guard fell back in a combat to be able to engage in all fronts. No overwatch or anything like that, so he's good there. Uh, because your battle shook. Yes. So the Venatari can stay where they are over there, if you'd be so kind to point them out for me, Luca. Thank you. 
We're gonna have these sisters go ahead and move back up to this objective because this is what they do. They've investigated their signal. Yeah, they... there's something. There's totally something over there. And then these sisters are within their range to be happy enough to shoot the vortex beast because. Ah, I can't get into rapid fire range. So I think that's going to be all of my moves. Yep. And we are going to go directly over to my shooting where I shall shoot here. It's may he live forever. May he not. He's taking enough damage. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and I will be overwatching. Not overwatching, just shooting. Sorry, not, uh, why did I think yeah. overwatching? Uh, yeah, I'm going to be firing rapid fire is what I meant to say into your sorcerer. Tap, tap, tap. Because I need this to work. I'm going to spend one CP <gasps> and use the witch hunters oh. stratagem, but not... That's not for the unit of witch hunters. This is the. Uh, this is for something any else. unit can become a witch hunter. Uh, so I'm gonna give them sustained hits one. Is that just instead of lethal hits? I want more chances to roll sixes at you. Because oh, you just pick one of the two rules. I pick one of the two. Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. It's not great, and I can only shoot at psyker units with it. <laughs> don't, dude, don't left my army. It's a good thing I brought thousand suns, man. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> Ten shots on threes. Sixes are spicy. Oh, nice. Uh, okay, I got a couple got a couple misses in there. And then throw two back in for sustained. Yep, yep. And now... You I, want two sixes. I, I just, yeah, really want two sixes. Sixes. And then I don't have to do the rest of the math on any of this. Yes. Is he dead? Uh, there's one six. He's got one wound left so far. But, I mean, there's other things that wound him, I should say. So we got two saves two in there. Two saves. Just fail one of those saves. Fail one of those two saves. Well, I can't do much about the devastating wound, but two saves, one at a time, uh, no AP. So we're ooh, we're gonna command point reroll that. Why not? He passes, and then the next one, I'm gonna use the command point to reduce it to zero damage. That's How many command points you got left? Zero now. I had That's to. Shame. Yep. He's got one wound left because of the devastating wound. <sighs> Strats called. All right, fine. This squad of five will shoot five shots at him. I will surely kill him with this. Destined I'm, by fate is it? You're destined strat. by fate. I'm not gonna do the thing where I get better AP. I'm just gonna rely on the dice rolls. Gotcha. There's uh, a thing to get like a strat to get better AP. There was that strat that uh, they could have fired the side chaff at him. Oh yes. And I do that after I shoot. Gotcha. Okay, so these are hitting on threes. Nothing fancy. Okay. Couple okay. Hits. Oh, a couple misses. And then I just need to roll six. I got him. Oh, got him. Got him. Excellent. Perfect. He's dead. Bow, bow, bow. Sad days for him. He tried, though. I got a kill. Look at me go. Uh, great. Ooh. Now we're going to go over to the shooting of the Venatari. How many wounds you got left on him? Still two. Still two, eh? Yep. Just going to get two through. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and fire my six shots. Kinetic destroyers. Bam. Two's to hit. Uh, okay, I've missed a bunch, and there's no sustained. These guys suck. I know. Dude, you don't get to remind me. Threes. They're neat, though. I got two wounds. I don't think it. Minus it, one? Uh, minus one. That's all you really need. Oh, he's dead. Oh, my, oh. Guy, my guy. Oh. My guy also sucks. He's going to die to the charge anyways. It's all yeah. Same difference. Anyways. Rolling dice for the laughs. Um, I think now we are just over to my non-existent charges. And so we've got one fight. Me, I fight first. Me first. I oh, yo, yeah, you got you got fight first on. Him. I do have fight first. Let me go. The rules. rules. I'm finally using a rule. <laughs> All right, here we go. Time to swing. We'll swing with the single remaining uh, vigilator. I am going to go ahead and get plus one to hit here because you are under your starting wounds. I forgot to mark it. I am though. Yes. Yeah. I've got eleven wounds left. I you didn't put the die down. Left? Yeah, that's right. That's exactly how that works. Okay, here I'll give you this D12 to put there. I got this. I found this one. I like this one better. I don't know why. Okay, fine. Uh, so I'm hitting you on dudes. Except no gifts from the enemy. They both hit. Good start. I don't have any uh, special stuff here. And so these are going to wound you on sixes. But they're devastating. They are. Hey, is it at least two damage? Two damage. All right, so that's feel no pains. Uh, I take two. We got nine wounds left. Nice. Might as well mark that before I forget again. And then this brings you, that brings you into the range that Alea could kill you. No, that's but true. She's not going to. But you could. could. And if she does, that'd be outstanding. Uh, that'd be pretty neat. Uh, yeah, so these are going to hit on twos anyways. And you're not below half strength. Oh! <laughs> I was literally going to I was gonna use the one CP stratagem where I get reroll hit rolls. Oh, she missed everything. She Yeah, she rolled uh, four ones. All right. It's my well, that's kind of sad. Let's see if we can get you with the tentacle the mob. You are minus one to hit me. Oh! So four stay with everything then. That's from the Vigilators. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, well, here's eleven of the attack. What's the chances of rolling four ones, Michael? One in one thousand two hundred and ninety-six. I think. One, one, oh, okay, so well, one in thirteen hundred, eh? 
8, 9, 10, 11. I could be wrong, though. 11. Uh, boom. Or is that... No! That's four sets of one in a row. I can't remember. Four sets of four ones in a row, maybe. All the same. These miss. I rolled really well. Only had... Uh, actually, I'll have you know your rule had no effect. I rolled only four ups. And uh, twos. There you go. One fail. Five. Uh, nine wounds. Just okay. no AP. Uh, well, let's uh, see how this goes. So that's uh, four, eight, nine, eh? Is that nine? Yep. One damn. No AP. So no threes. AP. Yep. Okay. So dead. And then Alea takes two, but she's got a five up. Feel no pain. Yeah, I'm not making that up. I rolled one out. No. Okay. So she has two wounds left. And I got five attacks with my Butylith Claws. Four minus one hit, technically. Is the Vigilator... Vigilator's dead? Oh, the Vigilator... Oh, yeah, because I hate how they do this. Hey, what's up, boys? It works. That's silly. Boom. Three... Didn't matter. I didn't roll threes again. Oh, uh, twos to wound. Boom, 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 boom. One wound. One wound, eh? Uh, good luck. Thank you. I got a five up invul. Yep. Uh, uh, four, she, four, uh, it's four damage. Yeah, she's pretty dead. You have a feeling of pain, though. Or it's the only one she's leading a unit. Uh, no, it's, no, no, it's, no, it's built, built in. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, it would be funny if it was while she was leading a unit. There are some characters. I know like... that there's the sniper thing. Yeah. No, no, it makes sense. Yeah. It makes sense. Uh, so I need to roll three five ups. I rolled one. I did right. the opposite of what I needed. She dies to the beast. Nice. We all sadly Boop. lose our models. And then I'll consolidate towards the objective. Just towards the wall here. I assume I don't have to move more than that. No, you're good there. Okay. Um, That's uh, turn. I do believe that is turn. Yeah. So looking at my secondaries, uh, I'm going to discard Deploy Teleport Armor because who wants to do that? Actually, maybe oh, maybe I do hold on to that to get it next turn. Yep. Yeah, I'll hold on to as much as I don't want to. And then I get the engage on all fronts. Which is worth... Uh, bu 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 because she died, that's probably only yeah two, three because the tactical yeah yeah because you did have this table quarter was lost that's right correct yeah. yeah so you got this table quarter this one and that one there these ones are a little too close they're not quite in the table quarter they're kind of straddling the line so but if I moved the vortex piece was just gonna correct it, so. yes so they were pinned in place they couldn't move I would have overwatched gladly that means my character would have died because well likely died because I didn't have the double command point to save him but that didn't matter anyways. Uh, it brings you to 12 secondary overall. Huzzah. Ooh, and I get three points for defending my stronghold. Look at that. Well, look at you go. So, end of turn three, where are we at? Uh, you're, as we go to turn three, you'll be at two command points. I'll be at one command point. Josh is winning by one point. He has 26 to my 25 victory points. Not bad. Not bad at all. Drawing three new cards. Uh, Overwhelming Force being the first. Storm Hostile Objective being the second. And Secure No Man's Land is the third one. Now, Storm Hostile Objective is not going to be possible this turn. So I'm going to get rid of that one. Overwhelming Force and Secure No Man's Land are both doable, but they're going to be worth very minor points. And Overwhelming Force is still kind of a toss-up. I just have to kind of roll well with the Vortex Beast. I mean, we'll see how he does. Into my command phase. This guy, Battleshock will go away, but uh, nothing to really do at the start. I'm going to get two Cabal points. Uh, throughout it, but I do owe Josh a battle shock check because I'm near the Sisters of Silence and I'm under and I'm under my starting strength. That's like the Null Maiden thing. Yes. Yeah. So at least that is relevant against non psyker units. It's just psychers, even at full health, psychers take battle shock checks. That's like what it does against them. Yep. Quite good, not bad. I mean, it could be very clutch. Uh, overall, not loving my options here, but his battle shock check, I don't think he matters too much. He passes on a nine. A nine for sure. Well, I guess actually it matters because I could have uh, lost. If I lost those victory points, that's game. We actually, if I failed that battle shock, we could just end the game right there, which yeah. would have been nice. I guess I, whatever, I guess I'll pass it. <laughs> uh, we get to go to my two cabal points for this. And then I get two victory points for holding my home objective and five victory points for holding that objective with the middle of the vortex piece. It gives me seven, which is nice, but it's going to be hard to get Josh off of this objective over here. Yeah, going to movement. I have to get some something going with this guy here. Uh, the Zangors are going to stay where they are. They're going to end up charging this custodian guard, hopefully destroying him, but we'll see. Can't wait till he kills all of them. He could. He very well could. I mean, I'm hitting on fours, winning on fives. But they luckily have a good amount of attacks. The Vortex Beast is a bit of a struggle because I both need him to secure that objective 
and also kill Sisters of Silence to deny you some options, leaving you like Venetarians and Sisters of Silence. Problem is, to roast the Sisters on your back objective, I need to give up the Secure No Man's Land objective. So one is guaranteed for two points, the other one is a risk for three victory points, mm -hmm. which is the, uh, the spicy one there. Killing five ladies, the average of killing all five of them is not very high, so we're probably just going to stay where we are and deal with those ones. Uh, yeah, that's a problem. I know. And deal with those ones there. It means I won't be getting my three points, but I can get my two points, and then I can deal with them later if I need to. So the Vortex Beast will move. He'll go to about here. Boop. Hopefully roast them and charge. I'm going to gamble. Ah, I guess I won't gamble too much. We'll keep him within three of it. I'm going to roast them. Uh, I could shoot my bigger attack that way, actually, and then just charge them. So that's what I'll do. I'll get Maybe I'll get super lucky with my uh, Warp Blast attack, because it's got 24-inch range. Our sorcerer over here, on the other hand, is uh, questioning what he should do. He's going to advance. He moves, I believe... Oh, geez, not fast. I'm going to move him six, because I think he might only move four. Oh, no, he actually moves seven, because he is not dust in armor, so he doesn't actually have a slower movement speed. But he obviously can't do anything, because he advanced. Our Zangers are staying sterile. Vortex Beast is staying right there. We can go right to the shooting phase. No shooting with either one of those units. Because advancing, they're gonna, they don't have guns. The Vortex Beast is going to shoot his Astral Blast into that unit of the ladies over there. It's, I have to double check it. His Blast Attack will target the Sisters of Silence. It's D6 plus 3, but Blast will be D6 plus 4 because there's 5 of them. I'm hoping to roll very high. I got a 3. It's 7. 7 is not too bad. I'll take the 7. I got to roll well to kill them all, though. Threes to hit. Oh, two misses. Still doable. Twos to wound. I can't risk any of these, and you can't pass any saves. So they all wound, but, you know, you get five up saves. Five up saves, eh? Two. Gotta make one. You're good. Only three die. Two damage each, but it's, yeah. It is what it is. Pop, pop, pop. So I'll lose my three victory points there, but could have gotten them, which I'm not too upset with. Uh, and then other shooting, this guy advanced. There's no point in picking uh, reroll hit rolls of one target because he didn't have range on any of them. So I can go right to charging. The Vortex Beast is going to charge the Sisters of Silence right in front of him. That's a shame. And then hopefully he wipes them all and I consolidate back onto the objective is the uh, the plan of attack. I go eight. Okay, but then getting into base-to-base -base contact, he didn't have to move too far. Uh, I'll do his, uh, whatever, I'll do his weird claw attacks first. Why not? These are threes. Probably should have done that one first, actually. Could have... Kill one hit. Two when he hits a minus two. Minus two, so I'm going to look for five ups. They're fine. Oh, you made them both? Yeah. Right, now I got to do the maw attacks. I didn't want to, though. Uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And one more. These are threes and twos. Boom, boom, boom. Ugh. And two. That is one fail. So five, ten, eleven. Three up saves. However, not likely to kill you now because you made the two five ups. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can make three ups. Nice. Perfect. I killed two of them. That means I cannot consolidate onto the objective, which means I'm going to lose all of my secondaries that turn. Uh, and then that's... We'll play it out, but that's probably game right there on the math. So we'll see what Josh's turn looks like. Yeah, let's see what the draw looks like. Yeah. The Mighty Swing's back. Threes. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna go. You're going to get cut down. Oh, yeah. Uh, looking for fives. Sixes, rather. Nope, none. I did forget to do the uh, mutating the land when he walks around effect on him. Uh, didn't do any damage, so it won't matter too much. Uh, nothing nothing happens. Okay, Battle shock check, but that's not important for him. They passed it. It, will, 11. it won't affect much. Good, it's done. Uh, I get no secondaries. I will discard, what's it called? Uh, destroying a unit on an objective for a command point, and that would be the end of me turn. I did forget the Zangors. They were supposed to charge yeah, the guard. I'm hiding, I'm hiding around the corner, so... Couldn't see him. Oh, wow, they made it. Uh, we're going to have to boo around. Little Christopher Walken there for the, oh, wow, they made it. That's how they, that's how they talk, man. That's, they all talk like Christopher Walken? That's where he got, that's where he got it from. Oh, that makes sense. Boom, boom, boom. I don't think I lost any of them, so it's going to be 20 attacks from them. Well, that's a shame. That's a lot of attacks. They hit on fours. I am missing. Oh, take that. 20 dice. There you go. That's all 20 attacks. We hit with. A little bit less than half, but we only need one to get through. Technically, these all failed. And fives to apply potential damage. Uh, three of them, minus one. 
three at minus one, eh? Yeah. Three ups. You yep. want to do them one at a time? It's up to you. You got a command point. <laughs> it's actually better to do one at a time if you have a command point. Nah, do you want to re-roll that or no? Yes. Now go for it. The re-roll. He's and fine. The last and save. The last roll. Oh. It's fine. Nice. Perfect. The change is not much. Uh, so we're good. Here comes five attacks back, nerd. Oh, yeah, he fights back. That's right. Yeah, that's right. He totally does. I'm doing sustained. Yes. Uh, look for twos. Twos. Well, he hits with them all. He's just screen seven. Yep. Twos? Probably. I can reroll wound rolls of one. Nice. Did you get any twos? Uh, no. Then I don't have to look it up. Okay. Oh, yeah. Four. They have involved save. Five. Uh, they might be T4. I'll look it up later. Uh, and then just in case. All right. They're T4, so that two to wound didn't matter. But I only made one save, so that's three of the Zangors who die. Uh, just going to lose these three over here, I guess. Boom, boom, boom. Take that, you bird monsters. It's technically one. You guys can't see them, just in case. There and there. How much get left on your home objective? One guy. Well, what's your OC on them? Maybe two. Okay. It might it might make a difference. It might. It might. Yep. We'll see. Well, looking at my objective side of the turn, I still have deploy teleport homer, and I'm gonna go ahead and pull storm hostile objective, which is kind of intriguing. Uh, I'm gonna pull an extra one and get assassination. I need to kill your character, and I don't think I can do that. I will get rid of Storm Hostile Objective because I don't think that's ever going to happen. Alrighty, looking at my options, uh, they are not necessarily numerous. I do owe you a Battle Shock test. No, I don't owe you a Battle Shock test on them. I yeah, owe you a Battle Shock test on yeah, them. They're the ones who got hurt, yeah. Looking for a six up. They get it. Nice. And then the guard owes me one. Oh, the custodian the guard. Four stats does. around the guard. Uh, he only gets four. Okay, well, he's Battle Shock. That doesn't matter much. Not in the grand scheme of things, it does not really matter much at all. Uh, so this is going to be a very simple turn for me. Yeah. Uh, my bird men are going to hop into your zone. No. Oh, and scoring, you get uh, seven points again. You Yes, seven Boom. points. Boom. They're going to go into your zone. Whatever it is. So somewhere around here. Yeah. And yep. they're going to deploy some teleport homers. And they're going to succeed. I can't do much about it. So I think pretty much uh, it's just going to be I'm going to fire some bolters at your dude. He's a monster. So, it's not going to do anything, but it'll be fun. Bow, bow, bow. So, yeah, let's just uh, do it. I'm going to combine the shooting of all six bolt gun shots here. Might, might as well. We're kind of jumping ahead, but we're not really, well, we're not jumping ahead. There's not much to do. There's not much more to go, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, I should hit you on fours now, I believe? Yep. Fours and sixes. Uh, I got you twice. Ooh. Hurt? Nope. nope. No nope. damage. No, pis no pistols it on It seemed like the right thing to do. Uh, I guess I'll, no charges, I assume. No charges. Which what, which fight do you want to do first? I'm going to attack the custodian oh, first. Oh, no. I That's have, the right call, I got Luca. six birds. One, two, three, four, five, six birds left. So, yeah, he actually killed four. So, 12 attacks. That's a whole lot less attacks. It is, actually. It is quite a bit less attacks. Ten. And then I owe oh, you yeah, two more. We got, I got four hits. Ooh, five hits. Thank you, Phil. And uh, five is two wound? Oh, three wounds. Three? What In what world? They got three last time. Okay, let's see what I got here. Two ups. Mm -hmm. Three ups, but yeah. All the time. Oh, it doesn't matter. I mm. rolled a straight, so that means that three of yours die. Uh, three are about to die, probably. Somebody's if you wanna, entertained. If you want to go ahead, you go ahead and attack with him, and then you can attack with them because you technically would attack with them. But all right, so uh, sustained hits. Yep. Sustained hits here, hitting your birds on two. Bird. Look at him go. Look, look at him. Yeah. Just twirling. One dude. To uh, three's to wound. Yeah. Rerolling ones. He doesn't need a reroll. No. He's got six wounding hits all day. I got a uh, six of saves. The birds. I lose five more birds. I got one bird left. Lose guy go. Let us go. Uh, we'll have the the horn, the bird with the horn remain because it lets me reroll battle shock. Check. No, wait. Is it? I'll keep the whichever one lets me reroll the horn. I'll keep the horn. Whatever it does. <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> matter doesn't too much. much at this point. Yeah. Over here now, the three brave sisters are yep. uh, going to swing at this big giant beast. A beast. This will be fine. Uh, they've hit you four times. Not bad. And they just got to wound you on sixes. <laughs> uh, they didn't. Oh, right. Uh, here's my, my claw attacks. Uh, not negative one to hit, I assume. No. Uh, ha, nice. Okay. Uh, I got to do this. 
Uh, we got three hits, and then, oh jeez, I gotta, I'm just being lazy, I don't want to grab the other dice. Six hits, and there you go, nine hits, beautiful. I got four more dice right here. These are twos to wound, because it's rank seven. And, all right, five, six, six saves. Six, six saves, and uh, this is just my base save, right? Yeah, no AP on the E. Can I kill two of them? Not even. You didn't kill a single one. Boom. Take that, nerd. Take that. Uh, and then that is, that's it. Yeah. That's not bad. What do you? Uh, I get deployed to uh, teleport homers. That's three VPs, and the other one was not. Uh, it was assassination. Oh yeah, I just. You, 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 you know what? I'm gonna hold on to it. That guy's days are numbered. Uh yeah. End of the fourth round. You're at 30. I'm at 32. You're at 38. Yeah. So you're winning by six points. And on my turn, I get no primary because oh no, my birds. I pulled my birds off my objective. I get no points there. And I can't get that one over there because he's stuck in combat with those ladies. Yeah, you don't owe me a battle shock test too. I do. On top of that, even. Hey, he fails. He fails. Uh, do you know what? Uh, is he within twelve? No, he's he's just a little out. Okay. Well, he's safe for now. My weird monster thing can't use strats in his OC. He feels zero. sad. Yeah, he he, he feels yeah. He whatever thoughts he has are even more sad. I guess because of the ladies. Whatever they do, they they they're null effect on him. Very strong. What? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> We're just at the end. There. There's no point in me drawing cards because I can't get enough points to win the game. Even if I even if I max out my even if I get ten points on my two secondary cards, Josh's primary score wins him the game on the math. Yeah, because I'm gonna be able to just I'm killing that bird. He, absolutely, he's done, dude. I retreat, I guess, but. It'd just be a sad, sad... It's kind of sad that 10 birds lost to a custodian with one wound, but that just sounds like custodians in a nutshell, so... Yeah. That's, Pretty they're, much. They're the heroes of the Imperium. So we'll throw, I'll, th I'll throw in the towel there. The, we'll give the the Null Sisterhood. Uh, null, that is the... I can't remember it the is name. Pretty, it's pretty close to that, actually. The Null something. The, the, the Sisters of Silent detachment for the custodians. Is there... How many detachments are in there? There is a grand total of four, but we can talk about that in a moment. Yeah, we're going to be talking about that. Null in Maiden Vigil. Null Maiden Vigil. Not bad overall. I mean, pretty effective against Thousand Suns. Absolutely. <laughs> With that, we'll sign off on this one. But for our YouTube involved members, we're going to be doing a post game. We're going to be talking about that co codex pretty much the whole time. It's like yeah, a, pretty much, yeah, it's like can, a first impression. We can talk about, yeah, the game a little bit, but we're going to yeah. go over some of the stuff in the book. See you there. Happy War Games.